From Champs Event Center in Midtown Jackson, Tennessee, Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network proudly present Hub City Fight Night, and this is our co-main event, pitting two welterweights against each other. Coming to the ring now is Sir Amenius Williams, who is also known as Sir Williams. He's a 5'9", 147-pounder from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We saw him at the last Hub City Fight Night. He's a solid contender, and you can see he is absolutely ripped. Full of confidence. We need the red corner to make their way to the ring. And headed to the ring in a big robe is Alexander Stone. He's the local guy from right here in Jackson, and he's getting a huge hand from the crowd here at Champs Event Center. He is on a green robe as he approaches the ring. And they're waiting on him to make his approach into the ring. Stone is 11 years younger than his opponent. Williams is 36. Stone is 25 from right here in Jackson. He's 5 foot 10, and he also checks in at 147 pounds. And they've taken him back to make another entrance. Our first bout that we had, Tervorius Mack, who is also known as T-Mack, he defeated Jay Ellis with a technical knockout, three knockdowns in the first round alone. That bout only went two minutes and eight seconds. And we invite all of you to subscribe to the Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel because you'll see boxing as well as all of our great high school and intercollegiate sports. Stone is making a show-like entrance to the ring and he is acknowledging all of his local fans who have come to see him. Williams will be wearing black trunks. And we'll see the revelation of Stone when he gets out of this robe. He's coming with a very serious expression on his face. This bout will have standing eight count for any knockdown. He has got the St. Patrick's Day delayed. He's known as the Crusader, and he is in that green and white. Steve Beverly with you for the play-by-play. -play. Let's go to the ring announcer for our introductions. of the evening. And just to give you a little background on what's about to go down right here in the ring tonight, I'm always at Jackson City, Hub City Fight Night. Last event I was out, there was a lot of chirping. There was a lot of sparks flying between these two boxers. So that brings us to the fight tonight in the co-main event. All that chirping, all that sparking, it's about to happen right now in this co-main event. So to get it started, we have boxing out of the blue corner from New Orleans, Louisiana, coming in at five foot nine inches, wearing black trunks and the gold stripes. Sir, the ultimate warrior, William! His opponent, boxing out of the red corner, coming in at five foot ten inches, Right here from Jackson, Tennessee, wearing the white trunks with the green stripes, Alexander the Crusader Stone.
And Michael Buffer tells us to get ready to rumble. So let the fight begin. There goes your bell for round one. And these two really went at each other at our last Hub City fight night. And again, a couple of blows to the head. And Williams, who is the senior fighter in this one, he's trying to be more aggressive than we saw in the last time out. And both guys dancing around, ducking a bit some of the blows. And you figure in the first 30 to 45 seconds, they're going to be measuring each other just to see what the other one has and then what they're not showing at that point. Again, we haven't had any really solid blows that have connected yet. And Stone puts one up, and then Williams retaliates with a one-two combination. And he tries to go in with a left hook to the nose. And you can hear a lot of the enthusiasm coming from the crowd who is here heavily partisan towards Stone. And there's a blow to the body. And he tries to go for one, a little uppercut that didn't connect. And tried to go one to the chin, and again, that one did not connect well. Stone's doing a decent job of ducking out of the way of the most solid blow attempts, and then he tries to come back with a right of his own. And ducks away from that left. And the ref's probably going to come in and separate them. Nope, they get away from it. We're about a minute and a half into this one in the first round. First round of a potential six. Worthy Road Studios bringing you all the action of Hub City Fight Night. And you may be hearing some of the commentary from the, his ring attendant in his corner. And Stone again trying to be more of the aggressor. They're calling for an uppercut, and then Stone goes to the chin. Didn't really have a lot of authority on that punch. And this has been a very evenly matched first round between these two. And you can see from the facial expression, frankly, a lot of the experience of Williams. He goes into the body again. And we got 30 seconds remaining. And you can hear the, and that's it for the first round. And we have three judges at ringside. And there's also a physician at ringside. And Williams, who is in great shape particularly for someone who is approaching 40 years old. And you can tell that Stone has made an awful lot of progress from when we saw him the last time out. And his trainer is trying to give him specific advice on what to do in this upcoming second round. And we're about set for round two. And they had to make a bit of an equipment adjustment on the mouthpiece of Williams. And here we go for the second round. There goes the bell. A couple of right leads for Stone. And again, he's dodged away from some of the more intense blows that Williams has tried to deliver. And, and Stone goes in, tries to go to the head. Ducks out of the way of one to retaliate by Williams. Again, we haven't seen really one of those stinging blows that could be a difference maker in this fight so far. 
Williams again in the black trunks, and Stone is wearing the green and white. And he goes in for the body again. Williams has tried that kind of attack for most of this fight, throwing more body blows than he has trying to go to the head. Has not been effective attempting to go to the upper body. And again, this looks like, at least at this stage of the game, a very evenly matched bout. Williams dancing to his left. And Stone took one to the right, and it looks like he may have, may have a little blood coming out of his neck. He'll adjust that when we get between rounds, but... And he tries to lead with a right twice and didn't connect. And again, pounding again to the body. Stone tried to come back with a right, but Williams dodged it. Williams again circling to his left. And he comes in again with another right lead. Moves out of the way. And the crowd was a little bit more enthused than the actual connection, but now he's moving in trying to connect to the head. And we're a little more than two minutes into this second round of a potential six. And he is really dripping blood down from his chest. And some of that has been just the continued body blows from Williams. Williams again circling to his left as he has for most of this bout so far. 15 seconds remaining in the second round. And both of them trying to exchange a flurry of blows there. And that is the end of round two. Judges are going to have a challenging job scoring this one. We have four judges at ringside. And we remind you that if you subscribe to Worthy Road Studios on YouTube, you will receive an extraordinary number of alerts about upcoming events, live sports, particularly that we have everything from University School of Jackson, Trinity Christian Academy, Jackson Christian, as well as Intercollegiate sports with Union University, Bethel University. It's all right here on Worthy Road Studios. And there goes the bell for round three. And they've cleaned Stone up a bit in between rounds. And again, they both are trading more body blows than they are from the attack to the head. And you're hearing a lot more coming from the corners of these two guys than we had in our previous bout. And Stone is getting all kinds of mental and emotional encouragement from his ringside attendants. And we're letting you hear some of it as this fight progresses. And Stone gets one to the head with a left. Williams knocked back out of the way of it. Williams with 11 years more experience. But Stone trying to show that he is the young contender who is on the way up from right here in the hub city of West Tennessee. Known as the Crusader. He misses that left but comes back with a right to the jaw. And ducks down away from that right by Williams. Go, 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 
And Williams again dodging some of the attempted blows by Stone. Stone tried to come in with a left and didn't make any connection with it. And again, there, there's been less connection here. Williams looked like he might have made some contact with that left, and Stone ducks out of the way of another one. They're trying to encourage Stone from ringside to be more of an aggressor. And now we got blood pouring from right below the eye. His face is becoming a crimson mask. They're going to have a big job attending to him between rounds. It's coming down right below the right eye. And again, they connect with upper body blows. But Stone is just covered with crimson over on his right-hand side. And the official has not, and there's 10 seconds remaining in this third round. My goodness. And that is the end of round three. They've got a big job with the styptic pencil to work over on Alex Stone. Not to say that you, not to say that you would say he borrowed his name from a character from the Donna Reed show many years ago. And you can see how they're attending to him, trying to get that cut closed, and it was a big one. The one in the second round was in the upper body, just below the neck. But this one, they, he apparently made a connection with his right eye and just above it, and everything started gushing at that stage. And... He is still coated, and the officials going over to look at him. Well, they did the best they could in the allotted 90 seconds that they had between the rounds. Here is round four. And the doctor is coming in the ring to look him over to see whether or not the bout potentially could be stopped. She's going to... Look at all of this, and now she's going to confer with the official. Ringside physician is required for any bouts in, professional bouts in the state of Tennessee. All right, so she's cleared him to go ahead. So now we go with round four. But he's going to have to protect himself because it's not going to be difficult to reopen that cut. And one thing they're trying to encourage him to do is to be more aggressive and take the fight to Williams. Tried to get in a couple to the chin. And again, you see him trying to move in just above the chest, and he's backing Williams up, but none of those blows had any authority. That was just a slip. And they're trying to call for him to go in with a jab, but Williams, he's the better for it. Williams is an experienced ring general. And in this fourth round, Stone has not been able to be as aggressive as he has been in the previous rounds. Of course, they're still taking a look at that cut. And he tried to get in with a left to the chin, and they're both exchanging some blows. Some of them actually did make some connections. About halfway through this fourth round. And again, Williams, he continues to circle left. And he went in with a right that missed. 
bounced off the ropes. And Stone ducks out of the way of another attempt to go to the head because Williams was trying to attack where that cut is above the right eye. And he came in with a jab and got another connection to the other side of the face. And again, he's trying to move in, but Williams doesn't look like any of those blows have affected him whatsoever. They're telling Stone to keep his hand up because they're afraid he's going to keep going to the eye. And certainly Williams would love to aggravate that and potentially get a technical knockout out of it. Now they're going at it over in the corner, and you got 10 seconds remaining in the round. They're trying to get those last-minute flurries in, and the official's going to break them apart. And we're just, and we are, in fact, at the end of round four. So once again, they are going to have a challenge to try to get that cut closed once again. They did the best they could. This will be round and he is five. severely lacerated this about the forehead. This next round will be round number five. So we have, we have round five. We have round Williams two. is very calm in his corner. Two rounds, two rounds left to settle. And I don't think that they will be having the attending physician to come in to look at him at this point as she did right before the fourth round started. So we're in our next to last round when the bell rings. And to be candid with you, Stone is a mess. My director, Gary Lockhart, likes the nickname of Sir Williams, namely the Ultimate Warrior. And once again, for Stone, the local guy, to have an opportunity to try to win this bout, he's going to have to get more aggressive in these last two rounds. And, of course, it also is a big factor whether the judges are going to look at the damage that has been done to the eye, and Williams comes in and connects again with one right there where the cut is on the eye. And we're a minute into this fifth round. He tried to go in with a right, and Williams ducked out of the way, and he missed on both of those jabs. And he connected to the solar plexus. And they're telling him to keep his hands up. And Williams ducks down out of, he was anticipating one coming from Stone and finally gets a couple of blows in. But again, none of them had extraordinary authority. Now he came back with a right to the head. Stone definitely has more of the crowd on his side than does Williams. And they both keep dodging away from each other and without connecting on a series of blows, no real flurry that we've seen except for maybe just a split second here in this round. And Williams is actually playing more of a defensive game with Stone. Here in the fifth, he must have extraordinary confidence that he's winning this bout. He goes back up into the turnbuckle, and he tried to go in with one to the, to the stomach area and then backed away from it. And we're more than two minutes into this round, and once again, that cut is just pouring. And he goes into the, again, to the chest. Tell you, Williams is packed pretty tight there. You got to get in a big blow to make that make a difference with him. 
And again, they connect with a flurry, but none of them had any heavy authority. And that's the end of round five. And I'm not a professional judge, but I can tell you that one looked like it was about even. So we're about to go to round six. And the big question in this one upcoming is whether or not Williams is going to play a defensive sixth round or if he will attempt to aggressively go after this cut and the doctor is coming back over to take a look at him. And you can see close up how they're doing everything they can with the styptic pencil to try to cut this to close that cut. But he's been dealing with that since the second round. And so she has cleared him to come back for round six. And here we go, the last three minutes. And of course, it all depends on what the judge decides, but the, all of the judges decide, but this is really one in which you just have to say Williams potentially could be defensive and win the bout. As he moves to his left once again, as he has done most of the evening, and it seemed at times to have confused Stone. And his handlers are telling him you gotta push it because I, I think they feel like he's got to be aggressive in this sixth round by far. And that cut has reopened once again. And he got one to the head and got another blow in. He came with another left. And he's trying to move in, got another left in. And they both trade jabs. And they got Stone backing into the corner. He fell short on about three right jabs. We're about a minute and a half into this final round. And again, he circles left. And Stone is going to have to move quickly. And Williams is frankly playing the defensive game once again. None of those blows had much connection whatsoever. Williams blocked the ones from Stone. And he connected on one just below the chin. But time is running out in this bout. And the official puts them apart once again. And the 36-year-old Williams has done everything possible that he can. And, oh, he connected on one that has that pouring and gushing again. And another one right above the eye. And he tried to go in with the head that time. And we're getting below the final minute remaining. And once again, they're staying apart from each other, so we're just not seeing any game-changing flurries. And you can see the blood all over Stone's trunks. It's even gotten on the back of Williams. And they exchanging blows, and there's one. He connected to Williams. There's 10 seconds remaining, and they both bounce off the ropes. It almost looked like professional wrestling there for a minute. He backs him up in the corner, trying to make a final impression, and that is the end of the fight. So now we will wait on the judge's decision as the referee picks up the fight cards. And this was one in which Alexander Stone had to really battle that open wound over his eye. I tell you, his face looked almost like a horror movie at times during that bout. Williams was ever the steady one, and he kept attacking 
that cut after he opened it up in the second round. So we'll wait on the official's decision. Stone still getting a huge amount of support from his local fans here in Jackson. Be sure and subscribe to the Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and you'll get alerts about all of our intercollegiate and high school sports and events like boxing right here. We just and in a few moments, we'll go back up to the ring announcer for the judge's decision. Well, they've gotten the gloves off of Williams and they're trying to get that left glove off of Alexander Stone. And I can tell you that was a gritty one to watch. And they're trying to cut that right glove off. And they managed to finally power that. Well, Stone's gonna Say, all right, I thought he was going to try to take it off himself. Now he gets off of it. Let's go to the ring for the judge's decision. Let's give these two boxers another round of applause. He just witnessed something special here tonight at Hub City Fight Night, 2024, April 6th. Our judges have come to a decision. A unanimous decision. Judge number one scores it 56 58. Judge number two scores the bout 56 58. Judge number three scores the bout 56 58, which makes it a unanimous decision. For your winner, boxing out of the blue corner, sir, the ultimate warrior, Williams. And that's not a surprise because he was the aggressor in the fight. Sir Amenius Williams winning a unanimous decision. And let's go back to the ring and hear what he's got to say. Something special here today at Hub City Fight Night. And we just witnessed a war between two individuals. So I have a question and I want to talk to both of you all. We fight in the ring so that we don't have to fight outside the ring if we have a discrepancy or a disagreement. So with that being said, Stone, what is your take on this fight tonight? I just want to thank everybody for coming out and showing their support and love. I really appreciate it. It was a long time. I want to thank Jesus for giving me this opportunity to do what I like to do, Lord. Um, this is a good fight. Uh, I think things are going to play out differently. A few other things went differently. I'm not even going to touch on that. You know, he was a better man tonight. Uh, we can get it on again. If that's something that happens in the future, I'm cool with that. It's a good fight. It is what it is. Yes, it is. Sir Williams, the ultimate warrior, give me your take on tonight's fight. Man, I just want to thank Alex for being the true warrior that he is. I want to thank, thank my Lord Savior for us getting out of seat. Thank Jackson for coming out. And all y'all for giving us your opportunity to take it. And I just thank you. And we want to say thank you. We want to thank you, Stone. We want to thank you, Sir Williams, for putting on the show and putting on an absolute war tonight. And this is how it's done right here in the boxing ring. Hub City, Jackson, Tennessee. Let's give these two boxers another round of applause. That was
people's grave. Well, I know that Alexander Stone, they're going to be trying to get that face completely dry and to get that cut taken care of. That was really the big blow. The first cut came in the second round just below the neck, and then in the third round, Sir Williams just, he had a big blow right above the right eye, and they never could really get that cut closed. So it was a unanimous decision for Sir, the ultimate warrior, Williams. And we thank all of you for being with us for this particular bout on Hub City Fight Night. We got one more main event, and we hope you'll be here with us for that. It again will be between two welterweights, so be with us right here on the Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel. And until then, for our executive producer, Paul Schultze, and our director, Gary Lockhart, this is Steve Beverly saying so long from the great hub city of West Tennessee. <laughs>